Hello folks, this is David Hurley of davidhurley.net and legendorama.com and this is the 34th of my 2020 vision challenges as initiated by Pixie Post. I'm aiming to get 61 done by Easter but we're running out of time. Anyway, this is the 34th and it's another conceptual 2020 vision challenge and it is about another community that I found on the Hive um, blog community thingamy. Uh, let's come over to uh, explore communities. And uh, yesterday I found the uh, Hive JP community and I joined them and worked to uh, translate um, a little article about uh, CVs or resumes, this Hive group here. Now we're coming further down because I found one more which I thought would be rather fun to join and that is the Lego community. Everything Lego. Now I love Lego. Look at this. I've even brought three of my Lego characters here to show you. Here they are, rather fine crusading fellows. Um, they actually have names and characters because uh, I have a blog that I haven't spoken about very much, if at all, called Legendorama. This is very much a, a back, back burner project. Uh, it's a mythopoeic minifig questing game. Here are the three main characters and they are heading out on a quest. Um, what is it all about? Well, here they are, the characters. Um, the main character, the principal character, is Richard Radcliffe, our man in the middle, and he is heading out on a quest. Now, um, if you think about Spencer's Fairy Queen, the Red Cross Knight uh, rides out on a quest with a little dwarf following him and not much else. Um, this is, of course, a fantasy quest, and uh, but I'm trying to think about what a knight would actually need if he if he were to sally forth into lands unknown, and he will need his squire, Patrick Force, and Gilbert the Yeoman, who is an accomplished hunter and fighting man, and then we will need a little page, or not need, but uh, it would be it would be meet and proper for a gentleman to have his page, and so we have Perkin the page. We, of course, need a cook to accompany us, and this is Christopher. And we have a general servant called Peter. And we have our two hounds, Bellman and Merriman. And this little party has set forth on a quest. Now, this quest is an open-ended quest. There are some rules, but they're generally rules of engagement, uh, resolving combat, and that, that appears to be all I've written up there. This is a concept, again, a conceptual thing where I send him out and I try to work out what, what is happening each day. And so uh, the connection, the connection with this Lego group in here is that it seems like this could be a good fun place for me to explain my engagement with Lego by engaging on the Hive blog Lego community. Uh, let's have a quick look in here. You'll see that there are quite a few people who like gaming with Lego. Um, Lego camera straight. We'll see. Here we go, Space Force. So this is a bit of a gaming type thing here. Somebody's built a hut. <laughs> oh dear, coronavirus and Lego. Batman photo shoot, stop motion. Yeah, they're fun making Lego videos and things like that. So I thought I could probably post in here about the progress of this game. Um, yes, yeah, so you can see we use I use tarot cards and I use other playing cards to work out what's happening day by day. Um, it's a lot of fun, but it's very slow going. I started this in December, uh, December or October 2018 and I haven't made very much progress. The last time I had any time to do anything with this was in December of last year. So here we have it. We begin with a bit of Spencer. So our knight, Sir Richard Radcliffe by name, is preparing to set forth 
upon a great adventure to prove his puissance in battle brave and his new force to learn. He rides a white caparisoned charger. Here it is, a white caparisoned charger. That's the cover that the horse, the charger is the battle horse. Uh, his arms of the golden lion are rampant on red and white quarters. Now, thinking about what a knight would actually need with his with his group of retainers, um, there are I think there are six people in all. Did I say six? Uh, they'd certainly need four barrels of beer, two barrels of wine, one chest full of treasure, and two gold bars. Two chests of dried victuals. I did quite a bit of research about all this. Three jars of pickled fish. Two spades. Two pitchforks. One bucket. Three but three more buckets apparently, and one big bowl of oats for the horses. One cooking cauldron. Two skillets. Six trenchers. Those wooden wooden what we 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 now have plates. They used to have wooden trenchers in those days. Three live hens. Three two flaming torches. One spear by the side of the servant. And then we have a war gear cart. So gradually I thought what they need, and we, we'll, need a, we'll need a horse and a cart to carry all that stuff, but then we need Sir Richard's war gear. He's not going to wear his war gear all the time. So he'll need his brigandine, his great helm, his spear, his two-handed, uh, two two-handed battle axes, one sack of oats for the horse and two more sacks of oats carried by the horse, the horses Chanfron and Crinet, it's rather fun using all these technical words, and Sir Richard's Cup. And so, um, yes, there's quite a lot of rules here about or, or conceptual ideas about how we're going to do it. And whenever something crops up, then we roll dice to see what may be happening. We draw a card or two. Each day we draw a tarot card and try to work out what that means for the day. So it's a lot of fun. It can keep you occupied for a whole lifetime, I should think. Um, that is uh, Legendorama. And I'm pleased to have found a home on Hive where I can blather away to my heart's content about my conceptual fantasy Mythopoeic minifig Lego questing game. That's all for me, David Hurley of davidhurley.net and legendorama.com. Until the next 2020 Vision Challenge.